There's a new way of tracking analytics in the latest version of Adobe InDesign, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Follow along and learn how to publish a document online and integrate Google Analytics to track views and other key metrics. We'll also take a closer look at how to enable cookie banner settings. So let's jump right into this video and get started. All right, on my screen, I have a six page document for a fictional university. It's an undergraduate academic handbook that I'd like to publish online and then track using the new Google Analytics integration in InDesign. So as a first step, let's go up to file and publish online. Now this is gonna bring up your publish your document online window where we're gonna look at some of these settings. So as a first step, let's go ahead and give the project a proper title. Now this is an academic handbook, so let's just call it Bellevue Academic Handbook. Next, let's give the project a description. Now I've included one in the exercise files. I'm just gonna paste it right in here. Now looking at the other settings, we can export or publish all pages or a range of pages. Now we want all in this case. We can export single pages or spreads. There are some other settings down here, including allowing viewers to download the document as a PDF print if you wanted to. Next, let's look at the advanced tab. So I'm gonna click that there. And here we can choose a cover thumbnail. Now as a default, it's going to choose the first page in the document, which in this case is perfectly fine. However, you can also choose a page that you want, or if you have something that you've created, you can also choose and upload a separate image. So again, we'll just choose first image, which is fine. And under the image settings, I leave the format to automatic. The resolution at standard 96 PPI is fine. The JPEG quality, we could set that to maximum. And now let's look at the brand new analytics tab. So I'm gonna click that. The analytics tab will only be visible in the latest version of InDesign. So be sure to update to version 19.0 to access this brand new feature. So to integrate Google Analytics into InDesign, you're gonna need what's called a measurement ID. We're gonna jump over to our Google Analytics page and I'm gonna show you how to access that. I'm in Google Analytics now and I've created this account specifically for this video. Now I'm gonna show you how to access the measurement ID. First, make your way down to the bottom left where it says admin and go ahead and click that gear icon. Next, we're gonna click on data streams under data collection and modification. That will bring up your account that you want to stream. So you can see I've already called this one publish online. And the URL that I've used here is just the beginning portion of the Adobe hosted URL that you would see when you publish a document online. So go ahead and click that stream and this will bring up your web stream details. And here's the measurement ID on the far right. You can go ahead and copy that and let's make our way back to InDesign. Now that we have the measurement ID copied from Google Analytics, we can go ahead and paste it into the measurement ID field in InDesign. You'll also notice a cookie banner option down below. Let's go ahead and enable that. And what this does is it allows viewers to accept or reject visitor analytics collection. Now you can go ahead and type in your own cookie banner text However, again, I've included one in the exercise files and it's called cookie notice. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that into the cookie banner text field. Keep in mind that if a user rejects the analytics data collection, it won't appear in the Google Analytics report once it's been published. So with all the settings now in place, we're ready to publish our document online. Go ahead and click publish. That'll take a few moments to render through and upload to the site. Once your document's been uploaded, go ahead and click view document to open it in a web browser. You can see that the digital brochure has been published, but also notice down below the cookies and privacy banner that we set in InDesign is appearing. So go ahead and accept the cookies and privacy settings. So now that the project has been published, I'm gonna just make my way through some of these pages here. I can click on the index page to take me to those specific pages, click on the logo to take me back to the index page. And I'm just doing this so it's being recorded in the analytics report snapshot. And so now we can jump right back to our analytics dashboard here. And you can see that users in the last 30 minutes 
it's tracking one and that's me that's the one that i'm on right now and so this is the reports snapshot which gives you an overview of all the activity that's happening with your indesign digital publishing projects if you wanted to look at things in real time you can also click real time button here that will take you to the real time page and it even tracks where the user is and you can zoom down to look at some of these other key metrics. Great work. You can now integrate Google Analytics to your own digital publishing projects. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content. If you'd like to learn more about digital publishing in Adobe InDesign, then check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.